I really love taking the time to look after people, making the patients feel understood. And it's more about that for me. Hi, my name's Joshua Perrin, and I'm the pharmacist for intensive care at Eastbourne District General Hospital. Not only do I get that very rewarding aspect of talking to someone and helping them out through that, you have the more technical aspects, so doing the, the medicinal calculations. I work in quite a specialist area, so we sort of think about first principles, so like your pharmacokinetics and dynamics, how they'll be altered in illness. Because doctors are fantastic, but they don't necessarily have all day. That's where I sort of step in, and I'll go and look through them for them. It's not my job to tell them what to do, obviously, but I can advise them on how I think things should be altered based on the patient. I was going to go down more a technical scientific route in biochem or biomed, but I had this sort of moment when I was 18 where I was sort of advised to think about what my job would be like in the future, because it's not just about the degree. And I realized that they weren't really my things. I'm very into my sort of patient facing role. I like talking to um, people a lot more. So I was doing some work, not in the hospital, but in an intermediary care. So that's where people go, usually if they're elderly or they've had some sort of other issue, they tend to have a reduced mobility. So they'll go to somewhere for rehabilitation for a couple of weeks. And there was a 77 year old woman who still practices two days a week as a psychologist there. And we had a talk and she'd been diagnosed with a condition that she hadn't had explained fully. So I got everything sorted. I explained to her everything we'd done for her and what new drugs she was on and why she was on them. I think she was newly diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. So I explained to her the two drugs we gave her. I explained to her what atrial fibrillation is. And then I had to later come back a week later and do a feedback form for a course I was on. She very kindly wrote credit to the profession and then hand signed it. When you have a patient who really appreciates the things you've done for them, when you take time to speak to them about things, I mean, it's really validating in what you do.